<laughs> Wait, which one's lamb chops? Are you lamb chops? <laughs> are, are we live? Are you eating nugs? Uh, eating nugs? Yes, yeah. welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> Alright. How am I supposed to fix now? No, it's this, uh, the chat. I'm going to pop this out. Fax him some nugs. Someone oh. needs to fax him some nugs. Fax some nugs. Or her. Him or her. I don't know what. We don't have that is. magic here. I don't think you can fax that. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, though. I mean, but, you know, they are fucking, um, got organs that are being printed out and shit, so. Or, or meat, you know, that artificial yeah. meat. I'll eat that shit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, okay. I guess I deleted all that. Oh, well. Email the. Uh, that attachment's way too big. <laughs> well, the Dropbox. It. All right. Do you have a 3D printer? <laughs> the prints me. Yes. <laughs> you are playing as Clank. Yes, I you, am. You rolled a successful stealth. Check. A very successful stealth check. So you shrank down. Mm-hmm. And I hear something crazy. Right you began to make your way over to get into the box of things. Yeah. We'll say. We'll say that you get over here. It is an old wooden chest. It is not... A fucking mimic? It's not a mimic. Because a mimic will kill the fuck out of some level one yos. Yeah. So, it's not a mimic. It's just a chest. The lock... A mimic is... The most terrifying thing in the world. A, uh... Treasure chest that comes alive and eats you. It doesn't have to be a treasure oh. chest. It's an object it's that you would see sitting there, like a chair. Yeah. It's technically a classified chest. as an ooze. So, like, it, it, it can change its shape. No. Yeah. It's not lovely Usually at all. Usually it becomes objects that would be appealing for people to Ooh, touch. let me go touch this like thing. treasure chests or uh, doors or things like that. We have a toilet mi mimic mini. Yes, we I do. I did. I printed one. It's awesome. Your quesadilla. <laughs> and uh, then it attacks and, and, and kills and quickly. Yeah. Yes, this is not thankfully one of those. The lock is rusted. <coughs> um, Can I make an investigation or something to see the best way to open this silently? Yes, you can. What will that be a check of? Investigation. Investigation. Yes. Plus zero. Nine. Nine. What do I think the best way to open this is? Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking I want to go down to the side and like try and some, find a hole that's already there or something that oh. maybe I could get a I piece off and get my arm in or something like that. Okay. Um, you do notice that um, with a nine, I'll give you this. The chest does not appear able to uh, properly hold all of the items. So there is like a... There's a bulge on the top corner or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind of like like the lid is a little off. And they kind of had to force it down to lock it. So the lock And the lock is strained already. Pretty strained. Uh, but there is an opening in the lid... It doesn't look like you'd be able to get much out, maybe... Uh, but can I get my arm in there? Yeah. Okay. Your um, arm is like a little tiny. I know, it's yeah. super tiny. Also, kind of on one on, on um, one side of the chest, uh, one of the, the boards, the pieces of wood that was used to build the side, has just the faintest wobble. Yep. So I'm going to go... Tinker with that wobbly one. Okay. Remember, we will wobble, but we don't fall down. Can I make a tinker check? Yes. So that's dex and proficiency, right? Don't forget, as a luckomancer, uh, he has luck points mm -hmm. that he can use to give himself advantage, um, like a, a bonus, or a luck D, point, like a bonus d6 to add to his okay kind of a thing. Let's go to D&D. What does that mean? Uh, is it still or Dex and proficiency? I don't know what Ghost and D and D and is. Uh -oh. Is it Dex and proficiency? Yes. It's eighteen. I don't need to add anything to that. Eighteen is good. Yeah. Um, 
So you manage to... Oh. And this takes you about... This takes Clank about 10... Uh, well, maybe not 10 minutes, but let's say 5 minutes. He's kind of shifting it to find where it's loosest. Mm -hmm. And manages to kind of pry it free. Cool. And now, there's an opening on the side of the chest. Big enough for me to walk into it. That you could, well, you can climb into it. It's not really, it's, it's, a, it's a lateral piece. I can crawl into it. Yeah. Um. So what do I see in there? So, you see, what kind of weapons does Clank have? A sickle and a crossbow. Light crossbow. Okay. There is a sickle, light crossbow. Sickle Colt. There's two sickles there. One's different. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay. So you see two sickles. Because yeah. you have a sickle. And he has a sickle. It's on your weapons area. And there are two hand axes. So the sickles can be removed from that opening. As can the uh, hand axes. Yeah, but I see a maul in there. You see the maul in there. The maul is in there too, and the maul is actually the thing that's kind of making it so they have to like force it down. Yeah. Um, the maul obviously cannot fit through this slat in the, in the chest, but the sickle can be removed, the sickles can be removed, and the hand axes can. The light crossbow is, it's too, it doesn't quite fit right. Right. Well. What? Can, as I grab them, do they, like, can I carry all four of those? With your size, you would be able to carry two, two weapons. And so I'm gonna grab like, two sickles. Okay. Um. No. Got a sickle and a hand axe. Okay. And t try to take those back first. Gotcha. All right. Give me a stealth check. Did you see? Stealth. Oh, you have advantage because you're tiny. Thirteen. Less. Thirteen. Thirteen. Right, anyway. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm level one. <laughs> hmm? Level one. It's more than ten. <laughs> it is more than ten, but they have perception checks. You get... Do any of them have like minus fives or minus threes? I'm just wondering. They're not blind. <laughs> no, but they're goblins. You get have about right here and drop before one. this one notices you. Now. We're going to shift away from this. Oh, yeah. For now. To the other crew. And get the rest of you guys caught up to where this is this happening. This time frame is. So. Uh oh. So the fight. Right there. Okay. Krishna and Finn, having been provided some more information, um. Uh, and can catch back up with you guys and share the and information that you have. Cool info. Can head to the adventurer's office. The adventurer's office is, is this is the same guild that sent us it's a, a, a branch of it. Yes. This is everywhere. This is the government. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's one in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> the adventurer's <laughs> guild has at least some kind of, if not a full office, some kind of area. Branch. Branch area. In just about every town. Nice. What? There's somebody you can talk to. Talk to Graydon. Mr. Graydon. No. 
Is there is there a adventurer's build person there named Commissioner Graydon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in this town. As cool as that would be. What? You're so needy. Yep. Because yeah. you're getting. Because you're giving it to him. Why are you being so rude? Because <laughs> you're giving it to him. Graydon's mean. If you're mean to him. I'm just petting him. Uh, uh, you pick on him too. Huh? You pick on him. I do. I do. Because it's fun. Alright. Um, interestingly enough, the same person you see sitting at this office, which is a larger office than the one in Fisio, is the same person that was, uh, that put the poster up the in Fisio. The Gorgon. The hot yes. Gorgon. The hot lady. Nice. And she, again, I will regale you with her description so you'll know. Uh, she is a, what they call a pureborn Gorgon. Which is the result of two organs. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Rainbow collage of scales of the snake head. <laughs> she wears impractically we like exposing <laughs> fine leather armor that accentuates the curves. Plunging neckline. Plunging the neckline. Like, think RPG lady armor. Yeah. Armor that like, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it, it would looks be effective. pointless. It doesn't work in this Jingle world. physics? Put in that world. Um, <laughs> she carries a dagger, a short sword, and a short bow. All clearly magical. I ain't gonna fuck with her, you know? Right. She's very nice. She has snake hair. <laughs> <laughs> She's not evil. Like, you all have seen a few Gorgons before. I mean, it's not something that's. Um, I've seen everything. It's not necessarily insanely common to find uh, a lot of Gorgons here, you know, like everywhere, but you, you've been around enough that you've seen at least one or two. Well, it's the middle of the town, and they're in the lunch box. So. Yeah. She is sitting at, the, at, at one of the desks in here and is uh, busy with... She has paperwork on her desk, and it seems to be like a roster of, of individuals. Yeah. Are there any X'd out? There are not any X'd out per se, um, but you do see a few that are listed as missing. And uh, as, as you walk up, of course, she looks up. Or... <laughs> Her snake heads look up. All look up individually, checking all this out. a little strange because she's not necessarily looking up herself. But they're all checking. And she says, out. One moment. There's a, there's a final note here right there. And then she looks up. Finishes up. How may I help you, gentlemen? Madam, myself and my associates have decided to take up one of the quests of missing people in this area. Ah, oh, excellent. You have, uh, are you, are you all official members of the Adventurers Guild yet, or no? Not yet. Ah, oh, very good. Very, very My good. My sister is. Your sister? Mm-hmm. Is Ah. Oh. I did go check her name. Yes. <laughs> I have so many damn siblings. <laughs> yes, you do. Well, my name is Laura Noah. Uh, that's her first name. L O R A N O A. Laura Noah. Mm -hmm. I am the uh, I'm still cooking. <laughs> Just chefing it up. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so you're not with them? No, I'm still I'm still in the Okay. Still cooking. I'm the sort of regional manager, if you will, of the Adventurers Guild in this area. I handle of course Isarod, Vissian, Bellblade. Oh. Now that has been rebuilt since uh, fate freed it from the unfortunate fate we had experience. <laughs> uh -huh. And, uh... Oh, no, it's that. <laughs> yeah. I wish. And Cheetos. I'll take we a have, Take some smaller chips. 
That would be rad. Yeah, that would be rad. Um, your names. And she kind of pulls out a new sheet uh, with like some forms as far as for the adventures you know the purpose is. Your name. Hey, I'm Finn Wolf Hart. <laughs> Finn. <laughs> Finn, okay. Wolf Hart? I, I, I can't spell it. Wolf. Heart. Like the like heart. Why like I have a wolf hat on. It's a cape. Ah, like. Gotcha. I'll wing it. <laughs> and she's gonna write it down. <laughs> and you want it? I'm Krishna, a Krishna the Clan Turnoff. Krishna Turnoff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Aloysius Kali. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, the Russian dreamer. <laughs> You've heard of us. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. Very good. Always like I'm wrong, people come see our shows. Uh, is Bye-bye. it just the three of you? No. Uh, no, we do have another, but he's currently cooking something. Uh, uh, oh. Gain all there in the head. Quetzal something. Habrock. Quetzal. 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 <laughs> Quetzal. Quetzal something. <laughs> So he's a bird man. So so she writes pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll verify that later. in person. <laughs> okay. Adventurers, new adventurers, excellent. Uh, we're always need adventurers. Um, what do you know so far? Uh, there's some missing people. They go missing at night. Things of glowing red eyes take them. And- Near the, the edges of mountains. Usually younger folks. And we've also heard about the missing crew that went to find it. Yes. We don't know what, who or what we're looking for as far as the missing crew is concerned. So ah. any information you can provide would be helpful. I also. can give you some information. Very, uh, very precise information here. Uh, one of them is a Sasquatch. A Sasquatch? Yeah, one of those in, in the show. Sam Squatch. Yes, yes. Uh, they're not typically uh, overly social creatures, but she seems nice. Very Sam into Squatch. the uh, protection of animals and the like. Very uh, pretty standard ranger type <clears throat> stuff. How did the bird name not die? Her name is Harriet. <laughs> Um, she has a pet, which is a creature that I had never seen before. Uh, it's, she called it a porg. Do I know what that is? It's like a bird fish thing. Bird fish ball? Really? Can I, can I roll to see it's like a I bird gerbil <laughs> kind of thing. I don't really know. It was cute and made crazy noises. Uh, I don't know what that is. No. You can make nature checks if you want to see if you can. Ten. Yeah, yeah no, you, you've never seen one before. Over nine. Um, one of them is an artifice. Artifice. I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, the gnomes build them. Um, named Clank. Clank Jadar, I believe, is what he gave me. And the other one wouldn't give me. I don't have a name, but she is a. She is a death elf, and seems to be some sort of magic user. Hard to miss? Yes, pale skin. <laughs> uh, she doesn't keep her head shaved like most death elves do. Uh, I don't know if that has any significance, but just so you know, she does have hair on her head. So, um, there was also a wizard... Um, by the name of Estrom. 
he also went. So I don't know. How, how if, old was Esther? I don't know if they were captured or. Huh? Was Esther a human? Yes. Was he old? Uh, he wasn't old. Okay. No. He was a young wizard. Uh, very interested in adventuring, learning the ways, and finding a group of people to adventure with. But he seems to have found that. Hopefully, they are all okay. Did you give them, um, did they give you any indication as to which direction they were going, what their plan was? Um, they were heading, because of the information that they gathered, they were heading eastward toward the foothills of the Dragon Claw Mountains. Just east. Toward the, yeah. From town? Mm. Okay. Seems like a good plan. It does. Um, I would start that way. Take, um, I can take a look around the woods there. Mm -hmm. What time is it right now? It At this point, See, it's probably I about... I think it tells you the time. Late uh, evening. Three-ish. Afternoon. Three Four-ish, yeah. Perfect. Um, I'll start walking down the line, it'll be dark by the time. Let's, at this point, there right is now. a commotion that is... Um, right outside? That's happening outside, yeah. Cool. Um, you hear... Uh, uh, it, it might be a bird call, but it's... God damn it, pretzel! <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Really, a bird call though. It's a porg call, you know that like. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And uh, just tiny little screaming. And it, this this creature flies into the adventure skill hall. Can I go ahead and make like an freaking out? Can I go ahead and make an animal handling check? Yes. I was gonna try and catch Wait, it. Wait, did I hear that as well in the tavern? In the tavern, uh, you're not here. You're <laughs> not anywhere. Near the adventure. Shit, I rolled a three. Oh, uh, like as it was flying yeah. through. Damn it. Yes, we'll see that. Okay, I'm gonna leave and follow this out. Okay. I rolled a three. That's still a seven. I was gonna try and do the same thing. Just trying okay. to catch it. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh wait, no, no, that's not my character sheet. Yeah, that's the same number. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen will be enough for you to catch it. And it, Come here. and it is exactly as she kind of described it. It's like a bird, cat thing. It's like a ball of fluffiness. A ball of fluffy. Um. Yes. It's very cute. Uh, and it seems to be excitedly um, screaming about something. Calm down, calm down. I'm going to take out a tiny little piece of jerky to see if he or she likes the meat. Uh, she? You she have no idea? I don't know. <laughs> we have to figure that out yet. <laughs> you can't really tell what the, the hell this thing is. is. I have no idea what uh, it is. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have any visible... Bits. Bits, we'll say. <laughs> uh, so, um, anyway... Does it respond to meat? It does. Um, like, hey, buddy. It, it kind of, like, it quits screaming for a second and kind of sniffs <laughs> at it. Okay. And, and it screams it. out again. Right. And like, look over at Laura so Noah. Did I make it there? this little bird thing saying, is this the creature you were talking about with the Sasquatch? <sighs> yes. <laughs> I, am I, am I, I in the room now? At this point... If you've been following it, we'll say, yeah, you do make your way in. I want to hey, look, look at it and go, I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> 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 He's gonna that forward. thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. This that's, is, that's very funny. Delicious, come up with a new recipe. Delicious new animal I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> I must cook it. Typically you come up with a new recipe after you loot something. Nope. In that game. Gonna cook it. <laughs> it's just a creature you've never seen before. It. You want to cook it. Gonna cook it. Um, I, uh, so we should, I appreciate that reference. <laughs> should, should we try and get this uh, little fluff ball to lead the way? What is it, Lassie? It's, uh, <laughs> it, it starts like... Trying to f 
fly out. Fly away. Yeah, like like it starts to kind of fly, and it, it cries at you. So if that was Harriet's, then we um, should leave. Give me insight checks, everybody. Cool. I'm, I'm so good at these. I'm so good at these. Eight. Twelve. So good at these. What's mine? Insight. Oh, I have wisdom. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Ooh. Seventeen. Hey, yeah. Finn, oh, come in okay. for the, the bosses. All right. Okay. Actually able to read something. I will explain what that result means uh, on our next video. Because we're out of time. Later.